Hello and welcome to Doc Clay's Chemistry Lessons. Today we're going to be looking at the AQA A-Level Chemistry course. We're going to be doing transition metals, importantly looking at variable oxidation states. Just a quick reminder to pop along to my website which is now up and running and you can find a link to that in the card at the top right hand corner. We've got plenty of live webinars and other resources to check out. So by the end of today's lesson, you should be able to recall the oxidation states and colours of vanadium species. You should be able to recall how the pH influences the redox potential of a transition metal and explain the Tollens reagent in terms of oxidation state changes. In your AQA A-level course, they're quite specific about you knowing the oxidation states of vanadium. Now, Many transition metals have variable oxidation states, but the one of vanadium is quite interesting because it holds one, two, three, four common stable oxidation states. That is the plus five, plus four, plus three, plus two, and they all have different colors of ions. And we'll see where this color of iron comes from in a future lecture. Uh, just check that you're happy as to why these have an oxidation state of plus five. So in this first compound, oxygen here is generally minus two, unless it's in a peroxide, in which case it's minus one. So we've got two lots of minus two, giving us a total of minus four. Overall, our substance has got a charge of plus one. Therefore, the difference here to get to plus one, we must have an oxidation state of vanadium plus five plus minus four is going to give us a total charge on the iron of plus one. If we look at uh, vanadium VO2 plus here, the second one down, well, we've got one oxygen. So in this case, we've got a minus two from the oxygen. We've got plus four from the vanadium. Therefore, overall, we are two plus. Vanadium three, well, there's no oxygen present. So the oxidation state is simply the charge on the vanadium. And again, for the V2 plus, here the oxidation state is the same as the charge on the iron. Just remember that the charge, we have the number first, whereas the oxidation state, we have the sign before the number. Those are key important differences. So vanadium then can be reduced uh, from its plus five state uh, when it's a lovely yellow color by using zinc with acid. And these equations you're requested to know about or to be able to recall. You should be able to work them out without remembering the equation. So I'll show you how to do that first and then I'll give you the equations that you have to be able to remember. So let's first of all look at going from VO2, that is the plus 5 oxidation state, to VO2 plus, and that is a reduction of plus 1. To work out the equation with zinc and acid, well, first of all, we have to balance the species. Now, by species, we're talking about the thing that's being oxidized or reduced. So here, vanadium, there's one on the left and one on the right, so they are balanced. Then we balance the oxygen here with water. So I've got two on the left, so I'm going to add a water to the right-hand side here to balance up the oxygens. Then I've now got two hydrogens on the right and none on the left, so I balance here with H+. And finally, we're going to balance any difference in charge by adding some electrons. So if I look on the right hand side, well, I've got one plus from the VO2 plus and two hydrogen pluses. So that's a total of plus three on the left. While on the right hand side, I've simply got plus two. So I need to add one electron to the left hand side. Then if I'm going to write a full redox equation, oh, I'm looking for the reaction with zinc going to make zinc 2 plus 
plus 2e minus. And to balance it up, I simply multiply up the top line by 2, because I add them together and cancel the electrons. So my total equation becomes 2VO2 2 plus, plus 4 hydrogen ions. Cancel the electrons, remember. I've got 2 on the left and 2 on the right. Give me 2 VO2 plus plus 2H2O plus Zn2 plus. So in that reaction, you see the color change of yellow to blue. In the second reaction, then, we then have VO2 plus in the oxidation state of plus 4 going to form the oxidation state plus 3 of vanadium 3 plus and we, here we observe a blue to green color change we can balance this equation now we balance the species well we've got one vanadium one vanadium balance with oxygen by adding water balance with hydrogen ions for the hydrogens and then again we balance the electrons so here we've got 2 plus, 4 plus on this side, and we've got 3 plus on the right hand side, so we need one electron again on the left. We're reacting it with zinc, remember? We're going zinc to zinc 2 plus, plus 2e minus. So again, we need two of these. We balance to get 2VO2 two two plus plus 4 H plus, so H plus suggesting acidic conditions there required, giving us zinc 2 plus, doesn't matter the order that these are written in, just make sure you don't miss anything out, and your two waters. And there's our second equation, which we observe for the blue to green colour change. The final reaction then is from green to violet where we've got V3 plus going to make vanadium 2 plus well in this one we've got the species the same there's no oxygens to balance there's no hydrogens to balance so we simply add electrons and then we're doing again the other half of the redox reaction the oxidation zinc 2 plus plus our 2e minus and here Again, we need to multiply this one up by 2. So we end up with 2V3 plus plus Zn, giving us 2V2 plus plus Zinc 2 plus. And so the final step then, we observe the green to violet change, V3 plus to V2 plus. Therefore, if we start with a yellow VO2 plus solution and we add zinc along with a suitable acid then we observe the three following changes yellow to blue blue to green and green to violet we need to be able to recall each of those three equations and also the color changes observed as you may have seen from some of the half equations we've written the pH is dependent or is required for certain redox to occur. Now, this is not true for all transition metals, only for some that require acid conditions in order to be reduced. But our key remembrance here is that acid conditions will favour reduction while OH- minus is sometimes a byproduct of a reduction reaction and therefore we can also see the reverse process here that oxidation favors 
fav uh, is often favored in alkaline conditions so alkaline conditions favor oxidation and we can see this if we think about a reversible reaction that if we increased the concentration of our hydroxide species here we would shift the equilibrium to the left and we'd form more of the oxidized species whereas if we're in this top scenario here if we increase the hydrogen ion concentration we would shift the, the equilibrium to the right hand side to reduce the amount of h plus present and favor the, re the reduced species so the ph will have an effect on the redox potential but not all the time this is only a sort of general rule the final thing to look at here in oxidation state is our tollens reagent which hopefully you remember from the organic chemistry is a silver mirror test for the presence of an aldehyde well you did this in the organic section and you'll recall that if you have an aldehyde present it can be further oxidized to form a carboxylic acid and in doing so for this reaction you used silver plus ions and you actually have an AGNH3 2 plus solution well the reason that we get the silver mirror is we get the reduction of the silver by adding electrons and we get the oxidation of the aldehyde the total equation that we end up with for this is we have two ag nh3 plus and we also do this here you'll remember we add sodium hydroxide and the result is we have silver plus we produce our four ammonias in solution and two waters okay so that brings us to the end of the transition metal variable oxidation states video do please check the cards to find the links for my website and you should now be able to recall the oxidation states and colors of vanadium recall how ph influences the redox potential of a transition metal and explain how tollens reagent is used in terms of oxidation state changes i'll see you soon bye for now